Well, there we are, boys. There we have it. I have loved Indiana Jones since I was a wee lad, 10 years old, watching Raiders on the big screen. I haven't stopped, even though I thought the last movie was eh, and Crystal Skull was an abomination of cinema. Okay, but uh, Xbox just dropped the trailer, the first look at the Bethesda Machine Games, Todd Howard, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Eh, you know, do with do do what you will with that title. Um, I loved it. Okay, most of it I loved. Everything I saw, I, lo I even even the fucking key art. Look at this. This it's not Drew Struzan, but it look it's fucking indie. Clearly, the people making this fucking game. I don't know if some of the stuff you may or may not have noticed, but this is a, a love letter, as the kids say, to the Indiana Jones. Because even if you look at like uh, the the title sequence uh with todd howard's name that's exactly the font they use for all the indie movies i mean this is clearly made by a team that loves indie that understands and knows indie i love it i'm excited for it um i love that it's first person uh i love that they've bought bought brought marcus brody back i don't know if vin diesel's in this for some reason uh marcus brody is one of my favorite characters and they totally destroyed him in last crusade and made him a goofball but it looks like it's the raiders character version of marcus which is back which is great ah oh, there he is i love that guy um you know the music um sounds you know if you yeah if you're a deep indie guy you know this shit right i mean it sounds like you could hear hints of last crusade in it certainly hints of raiders in it in terms of the actual melodies and stuff but it was new and unique i mean th this is exciting if you're an indie fan I, i'm i'm jazzed uh it looks like indie it's harrison ford eh, i get i get it i get it harrison ford would barely come back and play indiana jones to begin with in the movies for a hundred million dollars uh even if microsoft ponied up 20 million i doubt he'd do it and i like troy baker um i wish the character sounded more like harrison ford just because that's what he looks like i'm sure we'll get used to it so um, I love that it has puzzles. I love that it has fucking puzzles, man. Um, oh, look at that rope bridge. I love rope bridges and shit happening in blizzards. It's just super high adventure feeling. It looks like it's got a cool story. Look at the stunt. I love this bit here uh, where he jumps from wing to wing. And I, I'm pretty sure that's gameplay. Come on now. Um, I, I'm in. I'm fucking in. It feels like Indiana Jones more than Dial of Destiny did. More than Crystal Skull did. This is, you know, it's between Raiders and Last Crusade. I love all of it. Um... And I, yeah, I love that there's puzzles that at least from what they've shown and talked about, you actually get to solve some puzzles. It's not like, you know, you walk into a room and it looks like a puzzle, but it pretty much solves itself. Um, I love that it's first person. I wanted it to be first person. I love that you get to see his lighter and you get to see his gloves and his hands and the whip. And, you know, I like when he puts his hand inside the 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 hole and the spiders come out on it and shit is is cool, man. I'm excited. Um, if it wasn't for Indy, what they showed, I said on the stream, I would suggest this is probably a seven and a half, eight as an excitement game. It's like, oh, it's a high adventure first person shooter game, action game from the guys who make wonderful games, machine games. I, I'm totally interested. The fact that it's Indy sends it off the goddamn charts. Uh, the one issue I have, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to make it a thing, but it's kind of annoying. And again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the bad guys in this game uh are not the nazis right maybe that's why we're not seeing any nazi shit uh at least i don't see any nazi shit now maybe I, you blink and you miss it but it's set between raiders and it's and, and last crusade the height of the second world war it's not like we're in dial of destiny land where the nazis were pretty much gone where are the fucking nazis what are these guys they're just generic um, bad guys. Somebody said, oh, well, you can see the iron cross. Put the fucking flag in there. Microsoft, machine games, what the fuck's the matter with you? And somebody on my chat was like, well, they can't sell them in Germany. Then how hard is it to change, to localize the goddamn flag for Germany? The people take blood out of games for Germany all the goddamn time. The goddamn Germans killed uh, 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 six million uh, of, of, of uh, you know, the, the, the I, I'd say my fellow Jews, but I'm raised jewish not jewish now half jewish the point is they kill a lot of people the least they can fucking do is put some fucking swastikas in this game so i can enjoy shooting and killing the fuck out of them that's what i would say uh that is lame that is lame it, i'll tell you something todd howard if the reason we ain't seeing nazis is 
a story reason, I'm down. I respect that. You got something going on? Cool. We'll find out when the story plays out. But if you guys, you fucking pussies, aren't putting Nazis in there, cause why? You're going to offend some fucking Nazis? Back in my day, that was the goal. It should still be the fucking goal. Offend those goddamn Nazis. God damn it, man. But that said, holy cow. I'm in. I'm so in. I love this. Feel like a little kid again. The last game that made me feel this way was uh, Spider-Man 1 from Insomniac. I just... The power of the brand, baby. The power of the brand is strong, and this is looking really good and uh, super excited. What do you think about it? Let me know or don't. I don't mean, do I care? Yes, I care, but I'm not going to say, let me know in the con All I'm saying is if you have an interesting take on it, what works, what doesn't. Like I said, I'll get used to Troy Baker. It doesn't sound like Troy Baker. If it sounded like Troy Baker's voice, who I think is a great actor, I love the guy, but I think it would pull me out because it's so clearly a mismatch to sound like not indie. I don't think he sounds like indie, but he doesn't sound like Troy. He just sounds like oh, a little bit, you know, like this. And okay, okay. Um, this is one of those times I would love for them to run it through an AI filter though and go, let's tweak up the Harrison Ford sound alike. Take Troy's acting, take his performance, take his skill, take his passion, and then run it through the goddamn thing and turn it up a little bit and give it a little bit of Harrison Ford. I bet you could do that. I bet they'll mod it for that. Somebody will mod that uh, if this is on PC, which it is. Um, cool, man. Thank you. Uh, oh, and I'll tell you one other thing real quick. Other thing I liked about it. Um, you know, I was talking about this in the stream too. It, it's nice to see a cinematic action adventure game. Uh, I love its first person. I wanted it to be open world, but that's a different conversation. Uh, it's nice to see a cinematic action adventure game that you know, it's not that I'm like, oh, it's not so serious. I, I, I don't, I don't want everything to just be vapid. I, you know, I, I want characters to emote and I want there to be some heart to it and a, a th thematic to it that resonates at a human level and all that. But you don't have to make the goddamn, you know, Schindler's list for that. And a lot of these cinematic action adventure games these days, everything's so fucking somber. Everything's so fucking heavy. Everything's so fucking like, oh my God, life is terrible. Life is hard. And it's nice to see a game that's like, yeah, we can do all that, but we're still going to have some fun. Somebody in the chat was like, well, what about Spider-Man? That's not somber. I'm playing Spider-Man 2 right now. I love it. But, you know, it gets pretty fucking dark. It's like, where do we learn that all the, you know, dark equals mature? I don't understand. Sometimes it's fun to just fucking have some fucking fun. Where are the Nazis at? That's what I want to know. I want my scalps. Be well.